Today we're going to be talking about snippets, folding, line numbers, and magnification using Frescobaldi. So these tools will really start to come in handy as your scores get to be larger and more complicated. So what is a snippet? Snippets really come into play when you find yourself using a particular piece of code over and over again, score after score, and you want a quicker way to input that without having to type it all in every time. Now in Frescobaldi, under the Tools menu, you can access snippets. Now when it opens, it may open um, not docked for you, it might be floating, but I've docked mine here behind my music view. But if you prefer to have it floating, just click this little square icon here, and it will become a floating window here. And you can drag it anywhere you want. But I like to have mine here behind my music view. So once the snippets are open, you'll see that there's a few columns. You have name, description, and shortcut. When you create a snippet, you have the option of assigning a keyboard shortcut to it. So let's create one together now. Let's make a snippet for our header block and our version statement. In order to create a new snippet, first hit the plus icon here. Now this is where you input your code and this is where you name it. So let's call this my header. Now for this particular snippet, I want to include a version statement and a header block. So let's first do the version statement so it automatically inputs whatever the current version is that we're working with. And now for the header block. If you'd like to remove the default Lily Pond tagline, use this. To add a copyright line, use copyright. Once we've finished entering the snippet text, let's assign a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to make mine control backspace. To do that, click on this shortcut button here. Click use a custom shortcut and then click right next to primary shortcut. And I'm going to input control backspace. Hit okay. And then hit okay again. And your snippet is now in the snippet collection in Frescobaldi. Let's try it out. So by using control backspace we've saved all that typing. Frescobaldi does ship with quite a few snippets so I suggest you take some time and play around with them. Let's create one more together. Let's create a snippet that will convert selected pitches into a quintuplet. And let's name this 
I'll call this quintuplet. And let's assign a keyboard shortcut. How about Shift F5? Hit OK, and then OK again. I'll change to Music View, and let's input some notes to test it out. Now when we engrave this, watch what happens. Everything looks correct. We have normal eighth notes. But let's say I want to quickly convert this to a quintuplet. I'm going to hit Shift F5 and watch what happens. We now have a quintuplet. So this is just a quick introduction to using snippets. Now let's talk about folding. If we go up to File, click New from Template, and create a basic lead sheet, you'll notice that the code populates and everything looks normal. But as your scores get to be larger, you may want to collapse certain regions of your code so you can focus more clearly on a particular section. This is how you enable folding. Go to the View menu, Folding, Enable Folding. This will allow you little handles here next to each chunk of code that you can easily collapse. It's a really handy feature, especially with larger scores. Frescobaldi also offers line numbers. To enable line numbers, go to View, Line Numbers. And if we just open up a template really quick, you'll see that it now has line numbers which can be very helpful in debugging. And now we're going to take a look at magnification. If you go to the Edit menu under Preferences, Tools, you'll see that you have some choices here for magnification. You can change the overall size of the magnification window and also the scale of the magnification. I typically like to keep them around 250, but you can customize this all the way up to 500% and 800 pixels. So to show you how this works, let's bring it back down somewhere here. Hit OK and let's open up a template. Imagine this is a full score with a lot of staves. Instead of having to constantly zoom in and zoom out using either the mouse or the zoom options, you can also hold the control key and click to enable magnification like this. As you can see, this is a pretty big magnification radius. So let's go back and change that setting. Now, let's try control click once more. Magnification can really be a lifesaver when you're looking at a full orchestral score. So that's a quick look at snippets, folding, line numbers, and magnification. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.